Better put some light on. Hi, good morning and welcome to Craft with Bella Jane. My name's Lynn and this morning we're going to make some uh, tag bags. Um, thanks to Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah for um, this idea. It's quite an old video of hers. Um, but I'm starting, um, I'm going to hopefully be um, having a display in um, a shop uh, and uh, I'm um, I'm gonna have a shelf or a cupboard or a display. <laughs> so I'm thinking, how am I gonna put all my stuff together? So I thought I'd make some bags because I've got so much stuff. I thought I'll make some bags and then I can have bags of tags. I've already advertised bags of tags. So I thought if I make some pouches, um, then I can um, put them in the pouches. So I thought I'd use Tina's um, method. Now she put two envelopes together like that. So she fastened that one down. So that's one envelope, one pocket. And then there's another pocket in the middle. And then there's another pocket over here. So that's the front. And that's your pouch. And then you put... I'll just use these um, journaling tags. So then you put all your tags in the um, envelopes, stuff it full, and then you can put another ones in there. Obviously, I haven't got enough here because you need quite a lot. And then you can put some more in the back. So that would be your um, that would be your uh, oops. oops that would be your bag of tags and I think I'd probably put a few more tags in there but um, yeah so you glue them together sew around the edges I'm going to now I don't do a lot of sewing um, in my journals in my junk journaling but sometimes I do and I think this is this calls for sewing to make it nice and strong and then you decorate everything um now I've got um a whole kit of um this serenity sweet serenity it's called now I've got the whole kit. I must have been mad when I printed it off. I printed off the whole kit and then I didn't use it. So there is absolutely masses of it. And I've been thinking, how on earth can I use this? And then I've got all of the tags here. And um, not tags, what do you call it? Um, I've just read that there. It says tags. It's all the... Um, can use the spines, belly bands, side pockets, narrow tall tucks or tuck spots. So I've got all of these in here. And there's just everything, all sorts of things. So I thought I can make use of these to decorate the um, some of the envelopes. So I can make more than one envelope, obviously. And um, obviously I need to make more than one envelope because I've got two giant boxes full of um, things that I want to sell. So that's one size and as you can see you can get quite a lot in there and then that will be used to decorate and then um, this is another size. So these are the envelopes you get all the time in the UK. They're things you get in these bills and can see their petitions so you just need two and then you make however you want to do them um, you could have that your pocket there your pocket there and your pocket in the back you decide how you want to do them and then again pocket in front oops that's got my address on it don't think I want to use that and then this is another idea. So this is a big envelope and I've cut the top of it, cut 
that bit off and I've cut that bit off and I've made it an envelope like that. So you've got a pocket there, a pocket there and then another pocket there. Okay. And that's also got my address on it. And then this is a giant one. These I got these as a pack and I bought them not for the envelopes but for the card. So exactly the same as the first one I showed you um, with the flap. So that's that. So I think I might start with the craft card envelope, this one. So what I need to do is I need to um, uh, line the inside. Now these aren't too bad because they're pretty strong to start with. And then um, line the inside of this one. And then um, line that, cover that, and then that. And as you can see, you can see where we're going with this, can't you? So let's start with lining this one. So we need to... Um, I'm, getting, I'm getting to the point where now I'm as bad as Tina. I've got stuff piled up beside me and stuff. I've got a single bed here. I've got everything piled up on that as well. So we're just going to fold this one inside and we'll get card that one so that's that done and we need to um So inside, we need to put this inside. You can see that's actually supposed to be, you know, these are pages, aren't they, for your journal, for a journal. So then we'll cut these down. I want these printed on the field. They're not 120. It could just be um, 80 gram, but probably better quality 80 gram. Not um, not a cheaper quality. So we'll just trim that down there. And that should go in. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. I'm going to about there. Just look and see. Yeah, that's fine. Push it down a little bit more, I think. This is such a hard thing to do, lining these. And then um, we could fold that over because that will show a little bit. So we'll just... Um... Ooh, sounds like a wasp. I think I've got a wasp. I have a wasp. There we are. So we've got that. And then that goes on the back there. And then as you can see, that's quite nice with that folded ed folded over the edge there. That'll look quite nice. So we'll put this in. And then um, we'll just cut this edge down. Now then, who is it that recommends doing that? Um, Seven Plaza, Margaret recommends that. She says it helps, so we'll do it. Now I've got to find that wasp, I can hear it. I don't know where it is. Might have been sensible to leave this back bit until after I put the front bit in, but it's too late now. Oof. He's buzzing away, I can hear him. It's such a difficult thing.
And Tina does it with wet glue. Um, goodness knows how she manages. The one thing about Tina doing it with wet glue is she gets lovely crunchy. When everything's finished, everything's lovely and crunchy. Notice that. Her envelopes and other things. Everything's always lovely and sort of has that lovely crunchy noise. Oh, that's nice. Like that. So that doesn't, I've probably squiffied that, but it doesn't matter because that's going to be inside. That's going to be sewn down there. So let's do the next one. Whew, it's warm today. So we've had two whole days of really, really cold weather. Um, it's not been nice at all. And... Um, Yeah, it's just not been nice at all. So um, today it's windy, but it's gone very warm again. Pencil. Oh, just drop that on there. Alright. Oh, I can't remember whether this is going on the inside or on the outside now. I think it's going on the outside. Or oh, maybe it's going on the inside. I don't know. I'll have a look in a minute. See where it fits. I think it might be a bit close. Ooh, that makes me even closer. Let's just pull it up a bit. So, is this going on the inside or is it going on the outside? I don't remember. I think it was going on the outside. Yeah, it was. But... Oh, let's put it on the outside. Let's do it. I don't know whether that's what I wanted originally, but I think I wanted to line all the inside with this, but oh, and it's going on the inside as well, isn't it? Yeah, so oh my word, I've just got a vest top on and it's absolutely boiling. And it's not even I mean it's not even eleven o'clock yet. So um it's still you know, relatively early. So let's be careful with this now. Although we'll probably probably put something on this to um round the edges, decorate it. when you do that. So that's the insides there now, like that. I think that's what I was thinking when I did that. So I've got like an inside pocket there. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we'll put this on here and then that's inside and then we'll aim to find something different for there and for there. 
Okay. Now this is um, similar. They're all, I think, yeah, it's just, they're all very, very similar, these pages. So, let's go in there. Like that. it a little bit thin but because this is craft card I think it's going to be all right how far down do I want that that'll be fine so we'll just we'll just um cut this off already Just glue that whole piece. There we are. So I'm in the middle of making um, a ring bound journal, and it was all spread out on my desk from yesterday. Started the video, and then of course I was thinking and thinking and thinking about this shop. And what I was going to do, and I was thinking, who on earth is going to want to buy my stuff? And oh, I couldn't sleep and I was stressing out about it. And I got up this morning thinking, right, I have to try some ideas out to get this ready because I'm going to meet the lady on Tuesday. And um, what day is it today? It is Friday today. And I've I've said I'll bring along a few bits and pieces. And of course, I thought, oh, do you know, you know what we're like as artists? We don't um, really appreciate our own work as we should. And then I thought the people who are going to go into that craft shop, are they going to be interested in junk journaling and junk journals? And, you know, is it a good idea to do it? And it's going to cost me £15 a month. And am I going to... You know, is it going to be worth it? All those things that I was thinking about in the night. And um, so I thought, right, well, I had to wake up this morning and do something that will make this this stuff look more appealing. And... Um, right, that seems to have slotted in there nicely. So I'm, I know it's higher than higher than I've cut but it's fine um, but it seems to have slotted itself there so it's covering all of that envelope flap which is perfect so now all we have to do is just trim that off yeah so I thought I've got to do something to um, make this stuff look appealing to people who aren't really um, you know necessarily into junk journaling and um so that's what happened so this morning i got i've cleared all that the other stuff and the 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 other project i was working on yesterday cleared my desk looked out some envelopes and i've just started this so i think it's i need to do that i've got to do something so um, that's why I'm working on this project today. So there we are. And 
I'm stressing myself out about it because I don't know whether it's worth it, whether I should be doing it or not, whether it's worth doing. Um, but I thought, well, I'll give it a try, maybe. I don't think I've got to commit to um, a long period of time. Um, I've got to commit to two, two shifts a month in the shop to help in the shop which is fine that's fine um i'm not volunteering at the moment so um even you could leave that as the craft card couldn't you really and just decorate it i quite like that actually i'm wondering whether that's a good idea to just have that as the craft card that's wrong, that goes like that. That would be nice actually, wouldn't it? And then decorate it. Let's see what we can find. Now I've pulled out, let's just put this away. I've pulled out these from the same kit. So we could, I mean, there's just so much of this kit. Look at it. That's beautiful. That's nice, I like that one. I like this one. in the edge of the Oop. looks like a washing machine there behind it doesn't it a washing machine to be honest oh dear That's pathetic yeah so i think that looks lovely on there i like that i like that very much i'm never sure about folding these like over because sometimes it doesn't um they don't fold very well Right, I've got to get rid of this washing machine. It's, but it probably get covered with something else. To be honest. Right, let's paint her. Oh yeah, I like that idea. I love that idea keep the craft card behind and um, mm, that's nice as well isn't it all that's going to be sewn so let's get everything ready Do we want some more rows? Obviously we've got to keep the theme, but I won't think that's going to be difficult because she's... That doesn't go there, does it? Well, we'll keep that. We'll use that. Let's have a look what we've got in the... Um, In here, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. 
on that. Otherwise I'm thinking I've got to cover the back as well. Same as that one. Oh, look at that. That'll go on something. That'll go maybe on one of the bigger envelopes. Oh, these are just so lovely, aren't they? That's another one. Have that one in there. Oh, my word, I love all this. Oh, there's tons of those long ones. Oh, look at that. That can go on the... Um, Envelope flap. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing, to be honest. Right, so let's just... That's nice. Let's just see what we can do. Um, because the thing is, I'm not going to put anything on it yet until I've um, sewn it together. But I just wanted to see whether it would work using keeping the craft card. And I think it will. So this can go on the other side. And then I need to find some words. And I know I've got some pink words. Not pink, but I know I've got some words that will go with this pale words so that see that can go on there but it'll have to have something behind it yeah it's lovely and that could go on the bottom of there oh yes i love that i love it i love it i love it right i'm feeling happier now feeling a lot happier with this project and I'll put some lace underneath this and then I'll stuff it full of tags or you see you could just do um, a junk journal put a junk journaling kit in the only thing you've got to be careful of is that you're you're not selling so if I put all this I'm not supposed to sell as a separate. I'm not supposed to sell. What am I trying to say here? When you buy a kit, you can use it in your projects and you can sell the project at the end, but you can't sell the kit as, as the kit. So I very often put a little bag of... Um, bits and pieces that are left from making the um making the project and i'm not sure whether that's actually legal or not so because you've got to actually make the kit into something so uh yeah so you can't so i couldn't just put all of this inside that envelope and sell it i don't think um because it that would be selling the kit separate, wouldn't it? Selling the kit, kit itself, as opposed to making something out of the kit and then selling it. So I think I'll put this on here. So yeah, that's my problem. And this lace goes lovely with it, doesn't it? So um, yeah. So I'm gonna, I've got an idea now where I'm going. So I'm gonna go away and I'm going to, um, just um my sewing machine's right here but it hasn't got any uh i haven't got any thread in it at the minute so um that's nice isn't it and then what i think i'll do is i've got some brown tags make a tag to attach that says bag of bag of tags or something and um and the price and that'll be that oh i love it i absolutely love it i don't understand why i've never used it to be honest 
not sure about her. See, I'm just playing about now. I think I prefer that. Although I do like her. She's nice. Maybe she just needs something underneath to bring her out a bit. A bit of layering, maybe. What did I do with all that paper? That... Does she need a bit of layering underneath her? Oh, no, she's lost. She's lost. Now, the other thing is, I don't want to spend an inordinate amount of time on these bags because then I um, I just add to the, uh, I just add to the cost of everything. And I'm trying to, um, that's nice. I'm just trying to make it, things oh, to make things better for the shop so I don't want to um yeah that's nice I don't want to spend too much time time is money I'm doing this Yeah, that's good. Right, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to leave you for what for you will be a very short period of time. And for me will be um, uh, setting up the sewing machine, getting that ready. And, um, and then I'll be back. Okay.